Welcome to Black Warrior Brewing. Uh, my name's Eric Hall, and I'm one of four co-owners here at Black Warrior. So Black Warrior, we were kind of founded uh, with three of us partners, uh, used to work together out at PF Goodrich. All got to be friends uh, with mountain biking, um, and also we all did a little home brewing on the side. 2010, 2011 rolled around and some laws changed in Alabama to really make it feasible for breweries to be open, be in existence, and potentially um, you know, make a profit. Once those laws started changing, we, and we started home brewing um, together and brewing quite a bit, decided, hey, we make some pretty good beer, what if? So from there, started looking at, you know, looking for locations, working through business plans, financing, all that stuff, and then um, 2012, I found this building that we're sitting in now, and fall of 2013, we opened, so it's been almost five years now. So one of the things we decided on um, early on was we really wanted to have strong Tuscaloosa ties. All of us live here, we call this home, uh, so we really wanted to do as much as we could to kind of give back to the community. Tuscaloosa was founded, um, kind of, or settled by Chief Tuscaloosa, and in his native language, Tuscaloosa translates into Black Warrior. Black Warrior um, is kind of one of those things, name-wise, that we could do um, without having actual Tuscaloosa um, in the name. We always wanted to be engaged with the community. Giving tours here is just one of those things that we can expose people more to our brand and the process as opposed to just coming in here and knowing the beers. And our thought process was, you know, as soon as people kind of know your story, um, a little bit more about the history of Black Warrior as well as, you know, the process of making beer, um, it gives them that much more identity to the brand when they're in here drinking it. When they're out at one of the restaurants and they see a full wall of uh, different beers, um, hopefully they choose one of ours just because, again, they know the story and they feel that much more of a connection to the brewery. We host a number of different events here at the brewery. Tuesday nights we do trivia, uh, Wednesdays we've got yoga upstairs, um, we're doing poker nights on Thursdays, and it's really just an effort to you know, engage people, bring them in here, get a group of friends coming in, and as opposed to just sitting here having a beer, there's some entertainment to go along with it. We're open seven days a week, grab a couple friends and enjoy your day. <laughs>